What is God doing in your life right now? You know, Melissa and I, we have two teenage boys living here at home with us, and they love video games. Matter of fact, left their own device, they would play video games 24-7. The only time we'd ever see them is when they would come out of their room to get some food. So, Melissa and I have to help structure their schedules. We have to give them only certain times of the day after they've done schoolwork and chores and devotions and exercise and all these other things that are important for them before they can play video games. Because if, they, if we just leave them to their own device and they play video games 24-7, they become unhappy, they become cranky, and it damages our relationship with them. That good gift that we gave them becomes the ultimate gift for them. It becomes all-consuming. It gets all their time and affection. Well, the same thing happens to us. Sometimes God gives us good gifts, and we fall so in love with these good gifts that they get all of our time and affection. And sometimes God has to come in and re order our schedules in our lives. Look at this. Jesus says in John chapter 15 verses 1 and 2, this is what he says. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Every branch in me that does not produce fruit, he removes. So he's telling us right there that there's some things in our spiritual life or in our life that, that isn't contributing to our spiritual life. And, you know, when he loves us, he does something very loving. He comes and he cuts that out so it doesn't drain our, our affections and our time and to drain our spiritual lives away. Then he goes on, he says, and he prunes every branch that produces fruit so that it will produce more fruit. So he says, even the parts of us that are producing spiritual fruit, that he'll prune that back. And that hurts. Pruning is a painful thing. Our, our sons never come to Melissa and I and say, oh, thank you for cutting back our video game time. But they are so much happier they, when we do, their whole attitude is so much, and our relationship with them is so much better when we do. So we don't ever come to God and say, God, thank you for pruning. Thank you for cutting this out. These painful things, rarely at the moment do we ever thank God for that. But he does that because he loves us so very much. So we got to ask ourselves this. What is God doing in my life today? What is he doing with this? I mean, with this whole worldwide shutdown, is he reordering my schedule is is he is he making cutting out some some things that are that were getting my attention so that I can take this opportunity and give my full attention to him now let me ask you this if you're pushing back as i say this let me ask you this if this doesn't get your attention then what will it take to get your attention see here's what i know about god is that sometimes god will send a little tremor before the major earthquake He'll give us a little opportunity to turn our hearts back to him. And if we don't, then, he'll, then sometimes he'll do some major pruning in our lives so that we have no choice but to give him our attention. So what is God doing in your life today, dear friend? What, what in your life, is there, what areas in your life need restoration? Has, has God taken your schedule and cut it down to where now you're staying at home? Is it... Do you, do you have more time now to give to him and your relationship, to build your relationship with him, or maybe your relationship with the people around you? Maybe this is God reordering your schedule and trying to turn your heart back to him. So let me ask you today, dear friend, how are you spending your time? Is your heart tuned in to God? Are you taking the opportunity you have today and building and developing your spiritual life and your affection for Jesus? Because if not, it may just be that God may need to do some more pruning in your life.